They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. They generate more energy than a billion suns. When we think about stars, we often imagine them as tiny gleaming specks in the night sky. That's how they appear to us from our vantage point on Earth. However, stars are anything but diminutive. In fact, some stars, like Betelgeuse, are significantly larger than our sun. Betelgeuse has long fascinated scientists, but recently, unsettling changes have been unfolding with this colossal star, causing considerable concern among scientists and those in the know. In this video, we'll delve into the alarming details surrounding Betelgeuse, its impending demise as foreseen by the James Webb Telescope, and the potential repercussions this new development could have on our galaxy and life here on Earth. Betelgeuse, as described by physicist Mikio Kaku, is a fascinating cosmic giant that has intrigued astronomers for a long time. It was first spotted by the Greek astronomer Ptolemy. This massive star is so prominent that you can spot it in the night sky from Earth during the winter months. If you're into stargazing and constellations, you've likely come across Betelgeuse. It's that reddish-orange star marking the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. This star has been around for eons, and even today, it remains one of the brightest stars visible at night. But what's intriguing about Betelgeuse's brightness is that it's not constant. It fluctuates. This fluctuation is just one of the unique aspects of this star. There's more to explore. Most of the stars we see in the night sky are incredibly distant from Earth. The closest star to us is a whopping 4.2 light years away. If the concept of light years seems a bit puzzling, here's a straightforward way to grasp it. Imagine traveling at the speed of light for an entire year. Light can travel a staggering 186,000 miles per second. So over a year, it covers billions of miles. So when we say the nearest star is four light years away, it means it's billions of miles distant from us. But wait, some stars are even more distant, and Betelgeuse is one of them. This star resides approximately 600 light years away from Earth. Even if we could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us 600 years to reach it. Our fastest spacecraft can't come close to that speed. Yet, despite this immense distance, Betelgeuse shines brilliantly in our night sky. You might wonder how it can be so bright from such a distance. That's where its size and brightness come into play. Betelgeuse is a behemoth, about 500 times larger than our sun. Its sheer size means that when viewed through advanced telescopes, it appears as a disk in space, unlike other stars that appear as mere points of light. This disk-like appearance is thought to be due to reactions occurring on its outer atmospheric layers. In terms of mass, Betelgeuse is believed to be roughly 12 to 19 times the mass of our Sun. Astronomers use solar masses as the standard unit of mass. One solar mass equals a whopping 2x10 carat 30 kilograms. While scientists can't precisely pin down Betelgeuse's mass, because there are no orbiting planetary bodies around it for comparison, it's confirmed to be at least 12 times more massive than our Sun. Betelgeuse's brightness varies on a scale from magnitude plus zero to plus 1.6. In more familiar terms, Betelgeuse is a staggering 16,000 times brighter than our Sun. It's no wonder it earned the moniker Red Giant. However, its brightness isn't constant. It fluctuates due to its pulsations. Simply put, Betelgeuse undergoes expansion and contraction. When it expands, it gets brighter, and when it contracts, it dims. These pulsations can last anywhere from 10 to over 100 days. One remarkable feature of Betelgeuse is the presence of dark magnetic spots on its surface. These spots have much stronger magnetic fields than the surrounding areas, and while they inhibit the flow of hot gas to the star's surface, making it cooler in these regions, they also contribute to Betelgeuse's lower temperature despite its massive size and brightness. While our Sun also has its own dark magnetic spots, Betelgeuse's spots are significantly larger and far more numerous in comparison. To give you an idea, these spots on Betelgeuse can be twice as large as Earth. 
Additionally, Betelgeuse boasts a magnetic field that is a thousand times stronger than that of the Sun. This robust magnetic field is responsible for the looped or arched appearance of gases on the star's surface when viewed through a telescope. Betelgeuse's surface temperature hovers around 3500 Kelvin, contributing to its dim red hue. Betelgeuse is, indeed, a red star, but it didn't start that way. About two million years ago, it was more yellowish, similar to our sun. Over time, its color transitioned from orange to red, ultimately becoming the red star we observe today. This gradual shift has led scientists to believe that the star is aging. Betelgeuse radiates a remarkable 7,500 times more energy than our sun. If it were closer to us, it might have been a formidable rival to our sun. However, due to its tremendous distance of 600 light years, it remains a distant marvel. To put things into perspective, our sun is just 8.3 light minutes away from Earth, making it highly effective for our planet. If Betelgeuse were a bit closer, we might even see it during the day. However, if it were to replace our sun, its massive size would likely engulf or displace Earth and the other nearby planets. Furthermore, it emits significantly more radiation than our sun, making it unsuitable to be Earth's sun. So perhaps it was never intended to be our sun, but rather a distant, colossal red star that we can admire and study from afar. The reddish glow from Betelgeuse appears even more vivid due to its incredible distance from Earth. The universe is in a constant state of expansion, causing changes in the way we perceive light from distant objects and galaxies. This phenomenon favors longer light wavelengths, making red light more visible than blue light at far distances. As fascinating as Betelgeuse is, it's an aging star nearing the end of its stellar journey. Stars become red giants when their hydrogen core transforms into helium through nuclear fusion. This change is especially rapid in heavier stars like Betelgeuse, which is roughly 12 times more massive than our Sun. Irregular pulsations and fluctuations in brightness are signs of its aging and imminent demise. Betelgeuse began dimming in 2019, with its lowest recorded brightness in February 2021, raising concerns about its deteriorating state. So, how do stars meet their end? They go out with a bang, in a cataclysmic event known as a supernova. Supernovas are immensely powerful explosions that occur when stars reach the end of their life cycle. They release an astonishing amount of energy, making them some of the universe's most brilliant events. There are two main types of supernovas, Type 1 and Type 2. A Type 1 supernova happens when a low-mass star accumulates matter from a companion star until it reaches a critical mass, triggering a nuclear reaction and a powerful explosion. On the other hand, Type 2 supernovas, like the one expected from Betelgeuse, occur when massive stars run out of fuel and can no longer support their structure, leading to a colossal explosion. These explosions release intense light, heat, and radiation, and can potentially obliterate everything in their path. Type II supernovas also generate heavy elements like iron, nickel, and gold, which are scattered into space and contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. Supernovas often lead to the creation of new celestial bodies thanks to the shockwaves they produce. But what if Betelgeuse's supernova were to affect Earth? A common trait of supernovas is the release of high-energy radiation, including gamma rays, which can be a thousand times more potent than our sun's radiation. This radiation could devastate our ozone layer and the shockwave alone could have catastrophic effects on our planet. High levels of radiation can alter DNA and have detrimental consequences for living organisms. However, some scientists argue that Earth is at a safe distance from Betelgeuse's potential explosion. Yet, the universe is full of surprises, and our understanding is continuously evolving. Recent discoveries, like the James Webb Telescope's identification of massive galaxies previously unknown to us, have challenged our existing knowledge. These galaxies contain just as many stars as our Milky Way, shaking up our understanding of the universe. 
So while some believe we're safe from Betelgeuse's supernova due to its distance, we can't dismiss the possibility of unforeseen consequences. Betelgeuse's unique characteristics, such as its irregular pulsations, suggest that it may have more surprises in store. If it were to explode, particles from the blast could travel faster than the speed of light, or the shockwave could trigger other nearby stars. The resulting explosion might only have light effects on Earth, as supernovas predominantly release light and energy. Betelgeuse's explosion could create a light visible even during the daytime, but these intense effects typically last only a few weeks to a few months. What remains of Betelgeuse after its explosion? It could leave behind a black hole or a diffused patch of faint light, depending on the outcome. However, predicting precisely when Betelgeuse will explode is challenging. While some scientists estimate it could take a thousand years, its recent dimming and pulsations suggest it might happen much sooner, possibly within the next hundred years, a decade, or even sooner. The 2019 event when Betelgeuse expelled a significant mass into space might have been a warning sign, but uncertainty prevails. The mysteries of space continue to captivate us, and we must remain attentive to the ever-changing cosmos. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. If you're interested in more fascinating episodes, click the subscribe button.